Please welcome, he's a legend in Washington and now a legend at the Improv, Ralph Nader. <laughs> haven't said a thing and you're laughing. When Grover invited me, uh, I told him I'm not funny. And he said, well, anybody can be funny. Well, if Grover says it, it has to be true. Huh? So I'm here really to announce uh, that I'm switching careers. After all these years of representing consumers and workers from the perfidies and greed of uh, big business, I'm now going to open a consulting firm for big business. But only for big bucks. But in order to do that, I have to change my image, obviously. And the first step in changing my image uh, is to ch uh, change my diet and, uh, and my ways of, uh, of practice. So uh, out goes recycling uh, and uh, out goes from the refrigerator tofu, my tofu, and, and my kale and, and my seaweed. And in comes cream-filled donuts, ice cream, and uh, Pop-Tarts. <laughs> so, but I also have to change myself into a corporate personality. People think I don't laugh. And, and, uh, and one, person, one person said, I saw you on Saturday Night Live five times, and I didn't see you laugh. And that hurt me. So, so I've, I've chosen three different laughs, and, and I'm going to audition them, and, and, I, and I hope by your reaction, uh, I'll pick one. Because uh, if you're going to be a corporate personality, you got to learn how to laugh and hide the cruelty of it all. <laughs> so, first laugh, first laugh uh, is a knockoff from Senator Al Franken. It goes like this. <laughs> the, the second laugh was inspired by Desmond Tutu, Bishop Desmond Tutu, the great human rights leader. And it goes like this. <laughs> and the third laugh is what I call the Wall Street Authority laugh. <laughs> no, looks like the winner is. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> now for Grover. Grover, you got me into this, and it's time for a little payback. Grover, as you know, lives to put Ronald Reagan name on anything that doesn't move, and some things that do. He's got the name of Ronald Reagan on places in 3,100 counties, 50 states, Reagan National Airport. He's had names on uh, schools, mountains, zoos, highways, bridges. He even wants to now name part of the Pacific Ocean, Ronald Reagan section of the ocean. Well, I don't think that's ambitious enough, uh, Grover. Uh, you, you need to be a little bit more vaulting. Uh, you have uh, a solemn obligation uh, to demonstrate your ultimate uh, pride and support uh, for Ronald Reagan's memory. And you can do it in the following simple way. Nobody can stop you. It's your ultimate tribute. Roll of the drums, please. <laughs> I have, a, have this. And that is that you change your name to Ronald Grover Reagan Nortwist. Okay. Now, the, the fee for this, there's a fee for everything from now on. The fee for this is a two year, two years of uh, video rights uh, to your greed is good Wednesday morning meetings of corporate lobbyists and tax escapees in, in order to update Dante's Inferno. 
<laughs> now I have also a consulting proposal to General Motors, of course. What would it be? And General Motors has been cutting worker wages with the same uh, explanation. They want to uh, meet the global competition, like Mexico, China, and maybe India. But why stop there? I just located and interviewed two seasoned auto executives from Shanghai. And they have sterling uh, resumes. Uh, one is named uh, Mr. Nihama, and the other is named Miss Henhao. And they are perfectly willing to replace the present CEO and president of General Motors at $100,000 a year each, including overtime. That will save GM taxpayers $16.5 million every year. For this, there will be a fee, a very reasonable one-time fee, of $3 million. The last consulting is to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Can't leave them out. And I propose to create the American Society of Apathetics, where zillions of apathetics will develop a sense of pride and solidarity and never have a chance to become active against the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, if you belong to the Society of Apathetics, you're required to do nothing. But in order to join the Society of Apathetics, you do have to swear and recite the oath of the apathetics. <laughs> Here it is. As a member of the American Society of Apathetics, I solemnly swear and declare that I will endure any injustice, accept any abuse, absorb any disrespect, suffer any deprivation, concede any exclusion, inhale any toxics, and avoid any public responsibilities in order to defend my inalienable right to apathy, so help me, my descendants, and my country. It shouldn't be too hard. Now, just to end, uh, the, the fee for this is uh, a reasonable $5 million. My consulting firm is open for big business, only for big bucks. Nobody on K Street will be able to compete with me. Thank you.